what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about maxine in this video here today so the first trailer for ty west's maxine has finally dropped it dropped at 9 a.m this morning from a24 they delivered as they told us they would out of nowhere late last week about the trailer dropping this monday and it has and the trailer looks exactly like what i have been saying this movie seems like it will be for this year and it looks legitimately like maxine will be one of the greatest if not the greatest slasher film to be theatrically released this year or if not just released period the way it looks the aesthetic the, w the way it's paying tribute to some of those older films the cinematography in general all of this is very attractive it's appealing the music choice in the trailer i thought was very enticing we got introduced to kevin bacon we had a lot of things i had been talking about that were confirmed by this trailer elizabeth debecky who stars as a director for the horror film maxine is trying to get booked in aka the puritan 2 lily collins who i stated would be starring as an actress we saw her on set obviously shooting a movie because she's an actress in the movie how meta and then you had the Bates Motel sightings. You had the Psycho House. You had all these things I have been talking about. Then I think you also saw Pearl. Like there's a moment in the trailer where Maxine is on set, uh, like a back backdrop or a back lot of some sort of studio. She looks off into the Psycho House and i think that's where she sees pearl just staring back at her in the window now i do want to give this disclosure looking at that it's clear that it's pearl but i don't know if that's actually mia goth back in the makeup so she they might not actually have mia goth back as pearl but pearl will make an appearance but we'll see if that's actually mia goth reprising the role as pearl again or if they put the makeup on someone else this time to give her less work to do but from what i've heard she seems to be pulling double duty and that was semi confirmed with the reappearance of pearl in this trailer kevin bacon like i stated plays a private investigator who's been hired to find maxine he goes off in this trailer mentioning that his boss is a very powerful individual now here's the thing i want to raise to you is his boss the one who is the killer or is this someone completely separate that is causing trouble for maxine you'll just have to wait and see you got the confirmation of what i've been talking about with the night stalker and how that's going to be serving as like a scapegoat for our killer you saw the victims be marked with the pentagrams you saw halsey interacting with or i should say tabby because that's her name tabby interacting with maxine T tabby of course being played by halsey everything just looked fantastic you got the first glimpse of the killer who i think i've also talked about in the past would have this all black appearance and when i first heard about it it sounded like a from pretty little liars minus the hoodie just the all black stuff reminded me of a from pretty little liars all of which are nods and throwbacks to old movies i loved the trailer i thought it was very good i cannot wait to see what else we get from this mia goff looks like she's about to absolutely crush it they didn't really give us any further context on that alleyway scene it was basically just the gif in the trailer we didn't see anything further from that but again from what i've heard somebody's balls are going to be in deep trouble in that moment if not that moment there's another out there's another alleyway sequence where someone's balls are going to be very in very deep trouble because they are going to learn to keep their hands to themselves as they should so what did you guys think about the trailer did you think the trailer was good did you not think it was good did you think it was lacking something let me know all of that down in the comment section below uh i haven't seen them drop a first poster or anything but we got the new logo for the film from this trailer it is dropping on july 5th again it looks like it is going to be the best of the trilogy as mia goth has hyped up and just from what i know and the direction they are taking everything in this should be the best slasher film released this year it really should and then also i see the predictions about maxine being the killer i'm not going to confirm or deny that it's her but maybe she has help that's all i'll say if it is her maybe she has help maybe it's not her you'll just have to wait and see you guys let me know all of your predictions about maxine down in the comment section below do you think she's the killer do you not think she's the killer if she is do you think she's doing it alone or do you think she has help what do you think about kevin bacon in his role kevin bacon again is a private investigator who's been hired to basically stalk and harass maxine i also think this trailer gave us a glimpse at the chase scene i had teased there's a moment in the trailer where maxine is being chased by someone on the back lot and i think that person is kevin bacon because kevin bacon does a lot of harassing and stalking towards this lady in the film all on behalf of his boss who is eager to find maxine let me know what you guys think 
down in the comment section below did you enjoy the trailer did you not enjoy the trailer let me know down below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video